when a joint is restricting motion, uh, there should be a range of movement around the joint uh, that is acceptable and normal for the athlete. And if that is restricted, we use the term a lot of times block. A malfunctioning joint is a joint that should have certain degrees of freedom and certain movement signatures and characteristics, but the athlete is unable to do that. So we'll take a look at a, a female sprinter that we have here at the center. And the problem that we have here is the talus in her right foot is medially shifted and has shifted forward and medially. And so it's going to create some movement aberrations within the foot that will move up the food chain and that will also affect activities on this side of the body. So it will give you a little bit of a ramification out. One single joint area can create a cascade of problems or inefficiencies. So Andreas, if you run the film please. So we're primarily focused on the right foot. So as it recovers, you see weird stuff, but when she hits, you'll notice that there's not much supination of the foot. It's right into pronation, meaning that she's landing more on the inside of the foot. So if you'll reverse that back and you compare that to the left side, where there's a little bit more function, run forward, please. So there's a little bit more footage on that. She's a little bit rotated on this side even, but if you compare the left foot to the right foot, you'll see some degree of supination as the ground attack occurs and then into pronation, where if you look at the right foot, because of this talus position, the contact is very, very medial, almost on the great toe, she's right in the pronation. So what is that causing? Well, if you run that back, Andreas, if you'll notice during the run itself, this leg is tracking in somewhat of a line. In this leg, she's getting thrown left. So she's getting thrown into the left side of the lane. So a little bit of zigzag running, if you will. And up the food chain, you can see unique differences in how the hip is oscillating and un undulating. Okay, and if you run this back, one of the common problems in sprinters is a lot of t Achilles tendinopathy issues. I want you to watch the disturbance of the heel counter on this foot compared to this foot. So as she strikes the ground, it's the right foot, as she left here, watch what's happening in this heel counter. Kind of sinks, not a lot of medial movement, a little bit at the end. But compare that on this side, so when she strikes the ground, Run it, keep running it. You'll see torsion, let it roll at about at slow speed. So a lot of torsion, you feel that medial heel slide, so there's getting a lot of torsion through the Achilles. So we use this film loop to magnify what's going on with a single joint disturbance. We had a talus that had slipped medially and forward, and the ramifications on efficiency, line of movement, and injury patterns, all resulting from just that one joint abnormality. In this case, we would say the, the right talus is blocked. It's in a, a maladaptive position.